Synthesis reactions always follow the pattern A plus B yields AB. In other words, synthesis reactions always include two elements reacting together to form a single new compound. Synthesis reactions always start with two reactants and end with one product. In fact, this is the only type of reaction that only has one product. For example, when antimony reacts with diatomic chlorine gas, the elements form a single new compound, antimony trichloride. Notice here we have two lone elements reacting together to form one new compound. Just like all other synthesis reactions, here we see two reactants and only one product. Another example would be when hydrogen gas mixes with oxygen gas and in the presence of a little bit of extra energy, they form water, H2O. Two elements as the reactants, one compound as the only product. But what happens when we don't know all the pieces of the reaction? Often, we need to look at what substances are reacting together and then determine what the most likely products will be. Here's an example. When solid calcium powder sits in open air, it reacts with oxygen gas. Hmm, well, we've got calcium and we've also got oxygen. I don't see any other substances mentioned and we're not told what the products are going to be. Well, let's write out what we know so far. We know we have calcium, and it's reacting with oxygen. Well, if they're reacting, something new is going to form as a product. But what would calcium and oxygen react to form? If we step back and think about what we've got so far, we realize, oh, we're working with two lone elements. Hey, that sounds like a synthesis reaction. In fact, it is a synthesis reaction. The calcium and the oxygen are going to combine together to form calcium oxide. That's our one compound, our single product. So the correct equation for this chemical reaction is Ca plus O2 reacts to form CaO, calcium oxide. This is a great example of a synthesis reaction. Here's another example, but can you try this one alone? Pause the video, determine what the products will be, and then press play for the answer. If sulfur gas reacts with solid lithium metal, that means we have two elements reacting together again. This must be a synthesis reaction. When lithium and sulfur combine, they will form lithium sulfide, Li2S. Now, if you wrote SLI or SLI2, you wrote the formula incorrectly, and that's a wrong answer. Remember, metals always come first in chemical formulas. Don't forget about all those naming and formula writing rules we have learned when we start working with chemical reactions. Make sure you pay close attention and always check your charges and your formula writing rules. The correct product of this synthesis reaction is lithium sulfide, Li2S. Spend some time practicing predicting the products of synthesis reactions with the examples I've given you. The answers are available too, so you can check your work.